My name is David Sourdiv. I am serving as Executive Vice President for Corporate Development at Selectus. Uh, I'm, among other things, I'm in charge of the manufacturing of our CAR T-cell products and I also happen to be one of the two founders of the company, so I've been with Selectus for almost uh, 17 years now. It's a very good question. Actually, uh, gene editing has a very transformative uh, power in, in adoptive T-cell immunotherapy. Uh, we see that with gene editing, we can make uh, immune cells, T-cells, do much more than they would normally do without, without being edited, without being engineered. The one big component that everybody sees is that we've been able to go from autologous treatments where cells are drawn from patients, uh, are engineered and put back into the same patient, which is essentially a transfusional process, moving to a, a, a real pharmaceutical uh, off-the-shelf CAR T-cell product. We can do allergenic off-the-shelf CAR T-cells, starting from third-party donor cells, uh, healthy donor T-cells, engineering them, uh, freezing them, storing them, and having them as an off-the-shelf product. So this is one major advantage that we leverage from uh, gene editing. It's not the only one. There are other additional uh, elements that we can bring to the T-cells, other features. We can make them better killers to overcome the defense mechanisms of uh, tumor cells. Uh, and not just to make the tumor cell more visible. Uh, and we also can uh, make the T cells compatible with standard of care, with chemotherapies or antibody therapies that are uh, concomitantly given to cancer patients. So gene editing allows us to maximize uh, uh, the power of, of CAR T cells. What happened since the uh, uh, the first announcement by the Great Ormond Street Hospital pediatricians about the first uh, uh, compassionate use of UCART-19 last November. Well, first, uh, the same pediatrician announced a second patient, and that was uh, in spring, also uh, treated with UCART-19, also successfully put into remission. Um, and since then, uh, we've uh, opened two trials in London, uh, one for pediatric indication, that is, with the same with the same pediatricians at UCL uh, and it's open and recruiting and one for adult and the adult study is a little has a little different design it's a dose escalation uh, um, study that is done at King's College so UCOT 19 has progressed and is now in the clinic uh, on top of that we we've moved forward with our second product UCOT 123 the manufacturing of which is done uh, and still going for a piece and essentially will be subject to a filing uh, for an IND in the United States for two studies, one done at uh, Cornell for acute myeloid leukemia and one at the MD Anderson for a rare indication, blastic plasmacytoid dendritic cell neoplasm. On top of that, the company has continued to develop its pipeline, so additional products are coming up. You got CS1, you got 38, you got 22. Uh, and, and the company has also been strengthening its technologies and most importantly we've been improving our manufacturing process, increasing the yields about 20-fold and decreasing the cost of good about 50-fold. What were the biggest learning curves? Well, the, I think the, the learning that we went through while scaling up was probably the most spectacular. Uh, scaling up was really not trivial with T-cells. Uh, they're a very specific kind of cell, it's a very specific kind of product, and, and, and going uh, uh, to large scale, very large scale, is, is something that we, uh, we had envisaged at the beginning, but it's a real important step in industrialization. We learned a lot by doing so, and we're also learning a lot from what is now the endpoint, which is the clinic, what's happening in patients. So uh, these two steps, I think, are absolutely critical. And for industrialization, scale up, control, going through the regulatory steps have been really informative and, 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 um, uh, and we will benefit a lot from having done that for the future products that we'll be putting into the clinic soon. So what advice would I give to startups trying to get into the CAR-T space or in the gene editing space? Uh, it's always difficult to give advice to other people. Uh, uh, I would humbly say uh, that 
It, it, it's, it's becoming a, a bit of a crowded space now, the Cartier space. There's a lot of people, a lot of great people doing uh, a tremendous work. Um, I think newcomers would need to have very original ideas, come with specific uh, approaches, something original. Um, probably the best course of action is to start from the patient and go back to the clinic, go back to the disease, understand things that the first cars could not actually deal with and, and make something that would really make a difference from, from the other patient. For the uh, gene editing space, uh, I think also there's a lot of people, but not a lot has yet been done. And, and um, we've been in that space for uh, 17 years. Um, and, and we think that there are a few technologies out there that are uh, uh, you know, uh, been around for some time. We, we use what we think is today the more mature, the, the best in class technology, the talents to achieve um, uh, what we think is necessary for clinical applications. Um, but there are other technologies that are emerging, uh, like, like the CRISPR-Cas9 system or other, other technologies, and they will, they will progress. But I think for a newcomer, the, the important thing is to understand what kind of editing needs to be done. Um, important to be using the appropriate tool, uh, appropriate technology, appropriate delivery. Uh, a lot of the issues for gene editing will be lie in the delivery, uh, but most importantly is to understand what it is they want to re repair, what kind of gene they want to modify. So addressing these two questions, once again, uh, from the patient's perspective, I think would be a, a key success faster. This is what I would humbly say, and I would not pertain to give uh, more advice because it's always a difficult exercise.